Rodney King, truly a name that will lie in infamy here in Los Angeles. Rodney King, a name that will be synonymous with the Los Angeles riots of 1992, will be synonymous with police brutality. Rodney King, uh, where were you March 3rd, 1991? The next day after when that video hit a news station in Los Angeles, California, showing a black man being mercifully beaten by officers. So what a lot of people don't know about that story is that, uh, yes, he did get beaten pretty badly. That was a good old fashioned ass whooping, as I would say, but, uh, So Rodney King was with a couple of his friends on that night when uh, they were driving in his car. And Rodney King had been watching basketball and he had been drinking. So he was speeding on the freeway and the cops seen him speeding. So they tried to pull him over. And he said later in interviews that he didn't want to get pulled over because that would violate his parole, him being under the influence of alcohol. And that would send him back to prison. Uh, he had a criminal arrest record he had been arrested before for an armed robbery strong armed robbery and he had been sentenced to two years in prison he was currently on parole at the time when he got pulled over so eventually the police chased him into a neighborhood along the 210 freeway in the foothill section of los angeles and so when he got pulled over after Making the police chase you of at speeds of about 90, 95 miles an hour on the freeway, and then you're doing about 75 miles an hour in residential streets, and you're harming people, and you can kill somebody, you would possibly be led to believe that the police would be a little bit angry with you and want to uh, put their hands on you. So they had took in uh, two of his friends into custody. Uh, allegedly, one of the cops kind of hit the uh, hit his friend in the backside of the head, causing a laceration on his scalp. So they handcuffed his two friends that were in the car with him. So Rodney King originally was uh, resisting arrest and he wouldn't comply with officers' demands. And actually, one of my very first jobs I've ever had, I used to work for a realtor out here in Los Angeles and, one, and the realtor, the owner of the company, his brother was a former LAPD cop and worked at the same substation as uh, uh, the officers that were charged in the beating of Rodney King. And he told me that uh, the reason why Rodney King was beaten like that was because he was high on PCP. And when they tried to grab him, he immediately just threw them off of him. When you, when you do PCP, you, know, you develop some kind of weird superhuman strength and they couldn't, they couldn't get him on the ground. So that's when they started like beating him and tasing him with their batons. And as you can see in the video, he's still kind of on his knees. He's not like they're telling him get down on the ground and he's refusing to get down on the ground. So the guy films the beating of Rodney King. It, it's all over the news, all over the media. Uh, the officers were found not guilty of you know, whatever charges they were charged with, beating him or what have you, excessive force. They were allowed to keep their jobs. And then, of course, you had the riots out here. I remember I was about 12, 13 years old. 63 people died during the riots. Um, being an adult now, looking back on it, um, you know, it, it was just a tragedy in itself to see people acting a fool, going around stealing things and just tearing down their own communities. It was a rather disgusting uh, act of, uh, of just primitive human nature happening right in front of me on TV and right in front of me in the streets. Just people running with, I mean, it was wild. It was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in my life. So eventually Rodney King was awarded uh, almost $4 million that he reached a, in a settlement. Two of the officers ended up uh, doing prison time uh, for the beating when they were retried. Two of them got off. So in 
So, Rodney King was a instant millionaire, but uh, with instant millions uh, also comes, you know, instant failure. And, uh, you know, Rodney King, he, he had his issues. He had his demons. Uh, he was a very well-known drug addict. And he... And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the grave of Rodney King, beloved son, brother, father, grandfather, uncle, cousin, friend, 4 2 2012 Can we all get along? That was the famous quote that he said after the beating when they wheeled him from the hospital. A very tortured man with a tortured past and a tortured childhood. Will, his name will be synonymous with Los Angeles history forever and ever. All right, guys, I am Lamont at large. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Peace out.